Do you use Box for your file storage? Let me show you how to integrate it with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is we want to create a new form. So I'm going to come up to you at the top left, the orange create form button. And I'm going to start from scratch with this one with the classic form. And I'm just going to pull in a couple of simple elements. Let's just do their full name and their email. Then from here, we can head up to the top middle tab settings. Then we're going to head to integrations over here on the left. And then from here, we can do a quick search for a box. Then authenticate, we're gonna grant access to box. Next, we get to customize this on how we want it to look once it gets into our box account. So as of right now, it's going into a folder called form, and then the actual response is going to be in auto. So I wanna put the actual name of the form here. We'll call it data collection. And then instead of auto, I want to utilize the dropdown of form fields and I want this to have their name. Now, another thing we can do is we can check this box right here, add response date before your subfolder name. We can go ahead and turn that on and we'll go ahead and complete integration. And the integration is ready, so let's finish up and then let's go ahead, open this in a new tab, let's give it a test. All right, let's head over to box. And there it is, it's right up here at the top. We have data collection. And then we can see the date and then the name of the person who filled it out. And if we click on it, we get that PDF with all of our form fields. And it's as simple as that. If you have any additional questions about integrating your JotForm with your box storage account, let us know. If you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. See you next time.